go, here we are back with another unboxing and um, today we are going to unbox the five challenge decks that, um, oops, sorry about that, um, that were released, so basically um, the ICE, the company ICE released five challenge decks for Wizards and five challenge decks for Nazgul. Now, with all of these, um, you get one different Nazgul in each pack, and um, I've got all of them, so I thought we could do an unboxing for those while we wait for everything else to arrive. So let's take this one first. Here we've got uh, the Witch King, so each of these, um, I had the whole box set, uh, comes with a unique... Um, and that's not a Nazgul, that is actually my cat, or one of my cats, comes with a unique Witch King. So this is the Witch King. So how this works is you play, instead of a wizard, you play um, a Nazgul. So you have your own influence over here and you can essentially rule your <clears throat> minions, as it were. So here we've got um, the Witch King, who's a warrior, sage, diplomat, ring wraith so he's just like um, a wizard except that a wizard would of course be a wizard not a ring wraith we have one two three of those we have also got um the relevant if you like dark um locations kirith ungol and for those of you who are not as um who are um, a lot brighter than me you might have noticed that Kirith Ungol, which is a place that we all know because that's where Shelob li lives, <clears throat> actually has the, the word Ungol in it. And that's the same word as Ungoliant because Kirith Ungol actually means staircase of the, um, either staircase or citadel of the, of, the, of, the, of the spider. So I only came across this recently. We've Khan Doom, which is a haven, which that's actually an evil haven as it were. We've got um, Baradur, and again, I would like to draw your attention to, um, to the artwork. I'm not quite sure how this integrates, or if it integrates at all with, um, if you like, the wizards, because obviously, um, <clears throat> I assume that I don't know if I would ever play as a witch king. Or as a Nazgul, but I could envisage building... Um, no, I can't actually see myself making up scenarios where I would play as one of them. But, of course, I could, of course, use the um, the location cards. Um, so, Baradur has its, um, as its nearest dark haven, Minas Morgul. So, I guess one could say, okay, we travel to dark havens as the good guys and we try to... Uh, convince people the dead marsh is really lovely um really lovely artwork the dead marshes is actually a place that is very dear to my heart because when i traveled to new the new zealand in 2004 we went for a walk away from um the hotel where we were staying and it was lashing with rain it had been raining for days there were floods there were avalanches of mud it was all terrible and we went for a walk because we said you know we've been sitting in a car for so long we've been sitting in hotels for so long we just need to go for a walk and we went for a walk and the place we came to was our hotel was in the middle of nowhere and the place that we came to looked exactly like I had always imagined the dead marshes to look like it was marshland there were like pools of water everywhere and I was just waiting for a corpse candle. I was just waiting to see the faces of the dead elves um, and dead um, <clears throat> um, orcs that had been fighting there. And I thought, okay, this is probably also where Peter Jackson must have, must have um, uh, done the, the, the filming for the Dead Marshes until I found out that the Dead Marshes that he used don't really exist. They're a wet parking lot um, outside Wellington. Uh, we've got Dol Guldur, which of course is a haven as well. Again, beautiful artwork. Minas Morgul, another um, haven. Minas Tirith, um, which is... Um, so b basically this is the other side. So if you play the evil side, then the nearest dark haven to Minas Tirith would be Minas Morgul. Moria. 
And I really like that they have changed the artwork. Mount Doom. Sarin Gorowing. I don't think I've got any of these. Shelob's Lair, I have that one. Kirith Gorgor, I don't have that one. Nurniak Camp. Nope. Orc Captain. So this would now be um, a character like um, I don't know Anborn or uh, Annalena that we've we've seen in the in the in the um, in the game that I've been playing and showcasing on my channel. So this <clears throat> would be a character that you could co control using your influence. He requires five, and he can't have any subordinates. Um, but you could also use him as an enemy because you have um, here. Um, so basically, one could one could actually put this into the hazard deck and then just um, ignore his willpower um, and just go, okay, this one's gonna attack me and he's got um, a prowess of five and he's got a, he's got a body of eight. Um, <clears throat> and if you wanted to, um, to hire an orc um, or orc faction, he would give you plus three direct influence. Ill-favored fellow. He's a warrior, ranger, orc. Half orc. Discard on a body check result of nine. Horseman in the night. Now, isn't that beautiful artwork? I mean, seriously. Um, plus direct influence against any faction because he's so terrifying. Uh, he, he does look terrifying. Orc veteran. Orc brawler. Again. I mean, seriously, the artwork. Blazon of the eye. That's a minor item. I'm beginning to think that maybe I will keep those cards separate except for the locations because the locations I could use um, even to travel to the, to the dark places. And um, I don't know even, yeah, I'm not sure. Because in a way they don't really... I mean, I guess I could integrate them somehow as hazards. I mean, these are hazardous creatures. They're not very strong, prowess three, but then again, you have to... Um, you would be able to overcome the, the attack really easily, but then the body check would be quite difficult to pass. <clears throat> Blasting fire, special item, playable technology, playable at a tapped or untapped shadow hold, dark hold, or a site with a dwarf automatic attack discard to cancel all automatic attacks at a site against the bearer's company let's see moria mm -hmm. <clears throat> Blasting fire. Great bats. Again, these are things you can. These are um, these are allies. <coughs> Helm of fear. Playable at a tapped or untapped bara door, and only on your ring wraith. Does not tap the site. Nurniag's man faction playable at Nurniag camp. I guess you could build a you could build a um, a story around this, saying that you're trying to to influence the dark factions to to move away from the dark lord. Yeah, I can I can I can swing that. Um, Mm-hmm. Avariags of Kand would give you a plus two. That's interesting because we do have somebody, I think it's Arinmir, who has a plus two when we're trying to influence Variags of Kand. Unfortunately, I've never actually met that um, faction yet. Orcs of Udun, that's the same um, flame of Udun is, is, is the flame that um, the Balrog serves. Palantir of Minas Tirith, look at that. That ain't no secret. 
Playable during the site phase on an untapped character at a site where information is playable. Tap that character, but not the site. No marshalling points are received until this card is stored Ow. Ow. at a dark haven. Okay. That is a seriously bad event. You know, you would definitely want to have this in your hazard deck. Um, and uh, if, if you have, if you're playing um, a storyline where you have to go to dark havens, and I could totally see this. Why, why you would, why you would play this. Urukai. Vile fumes. Technology. Um, I mean, Professor Tolkien would have loved this because, um, he was opposed to technology. He didn't, he didn't like it. Um, weigh all things to a nicety. Bring one resource or character, including a ring wraith, from your sideboard or discard pile into your play deck and shuffle. Awaiting the call. Playable during the organization phase on a character with a mind of six or less at a non-dark haven for the purposes of controlling. This character, his mind is halved. Discard this card when the character moves. Cannot be duplicated on a given character. Why would this help you? Because, okay, you can bring him under your control, but as soon as you move... Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure that I understand why this would work. Fell Rider. <clears throat> Fell Rider mode. Playable at a Dark Haven during the organization phase on your Ring Wraith's own company. Plus two prowess, minus three influence to your Ring Wraith. Aha. Uh -huh. It allows you to move to a non-dark haven. Gifts as given of old provides plus tr three on an influence attempt against a faction. Yeah. Records unread cannot be included with starting company. Discard to untap a shadow hold or to make an inform to make information playable at any shadow hold cannot be duplicated in a given on a given company. Under his blow. Untapped character does not tap against one strike. Mm -hmm. Voices of Malice. Sage only. Tap a sage to discard one non-environment hazard permanent. Okay. Ambusher. Okay, we have this one. Definitely ghosts. We have those. Um, Raindrake. Absolutely, we've got that one. True Fire Drake. Yep. Slayer. Mm-hmm. Several of those. An unexpected outpost, indeed. Doors of Night, uh-huh. Yes, several times. Long Winter. I'm not sure about that one now. Um, Lure of Nature, we definitely have that one. Snowstorm, I don't think we have that one. Twilight, we do. Withered lands as well. Above the abyss. Playable on an un, on a tapped non ring wraith character if your opponent is a wizard and your ring wraith is in play. No, we don't, definitely do not have this one. Black trolls. Playable at a Kirith at Kirith Gorgor or Baradur. It's a faction. Crept along cleverly. Yes, we do have that one, but only once. Sudden call. Beautiful artwork. You may play this card as a resource or a hazard recording according to the audience of Sauron rules. This card may not be played as a hazard against a wizard player and may be included as a hazard in a wizard's deck. Um, and what does it do? <clears throat> okay, I have no idea what it does, but yeah. The Voices of Malice again. Alone and unadvised, we've got this one. Corsairs of Umba, we've got them. Cruel Karadras, I think we only have this one. Earkaraxa Hunt, Foul Fumes, we definitely have this one. Um, more Ghosts. Nameless Thing. Skada a Hunt, I don't think we have this one. Stench of Mordor, I'm not sure. Twilight, yes. Oh, last child of Ungoliant. Ungoliant. 
Sage Ally and Snowstorm again. So let's take a look at the challenge decks rules. Um, this was incidentally um, Ringwraith challenge deck number uh, Morgul Rallying Cry. That's number one, that's I. And it's number 44. Um, the Witch King's mission is to solidify Sauron's forces in Mordor. His minions do best when not moving from the safety of this evil domain. They have very little to help them tactically, but in Mordor they should not need much. The hazards can create a devastating environment of roadblock. Starting company. One orc captain. Um, resource play. Play the awaiting calls. Is this an example of play or what what is it um <clears throat> okay so um I will definitely put one Witch King in my sideboard um, because obviously, and of course he would only ever get um, a clear sleeve because he's a character. Um, I'll definitely incorporate all of these into my normal location um, deck. And these ones here, I'm actually not sure. I mean, these ones will go into my deck of doubles because I've got these plenty of times. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about these cards, however, because I could in theory even, and this is this is even like about how to sleeve them. Is this, you know, this this could be, I mean, the Palantir of Minas Tirith would be something that I could in put in to my normal deck. No problem. These ones I could put in as um, as hazards. I may actually do it this way. And if I ever want to play, I can always sleeve them differently. So these are the cards that will go in the box, <coughs> in the in the card box, so to speak, where I put my cards that I'm going to play with. And then I've got a huge box of cards that are simply doubles. Next up, we have um, deck number. You are Adunafel, the Ring Wraith, which means that this is um, uh, does it actually say anywhere on the box? Ah, F. It's deck F. <clears throat> He's a warrior scout, diplomat, Ring Wraith. He's not a sage, so they're not all the same. Um. Again, really lovely, um, really lovely um, artwork. Twilight, we don't need these ones. So we've got this one, this one as well. Yep, Doors of Night, an unexpected outpost. Slayer, Nameless Thing again. Just put this over here because I don't know if I've already got three. Cave Drake, Cave Drake, got those. Cave Worm. Weigh all things to a nicety. We've only ha seen this once well preserved shadow magic playable on a wounded character in a company with a shadow magic using character wounded character becomes untapped with a minus one to body okay tokens yeah i would really have to sleeve these differently because i can't really put them into my resource deck tokens to show yeah, i'm going to sleeve those black <clears throat> tokens to show secrets of their forging Sage only. Playable on a sage during the site phase. Add a site where information is playable. If a character in this company has a golden ring, tap the sage and site. You may replace the gold ring with a special item ring from your hand, except for the one ring, for which the gold ring could normally be tested. Okay. That's playable. Normally, that's not a... Ruse. Playable on an untapped diplomat in a covert company facing an attack. Tap the diplomat. The attack is cancelled. Orc quarrels. 
Not slay needlessly. Playable on an attack by elves, dwarves, Dunedain, or men against a covert company. The attack is cancelled. Otherwise, minus two. Yeah, that works. The least of gold rings. Bearer must make a corruption check at, a, at the end of each of his untapped phases. Discard this ring when tested. If tested, obtain a random value to determine which ring card may be immediately played. The one ring, a dwarven ring... A magic ring, a lesser ring, any result. Okay. <coughs> Join with that power, diplomat only. On one influence check or corruption check by a character in a diplomat's company receives a bonus equal to the number of characters in the company minus one. Oh, good. Deeper shadow, magic, shadow magic. Playable during the movement hazard phase. Okay, so that would be black. By the ring raid's word. Having said this, maybe leaving it black doesn't make any sense. I should definitely keep them separate. But even when I play a shadow user, I could use some of the other cards. So, by the ring raid's word. Playable during the organization phase on one of your other characters at the same dark haven as your ring wraith. Bade to rule. Again, playable on your ring wraith. Red Book of West of the West March. A marsh of West March. Unique, playable at bag end. May be stored at Barat Dur for five marshalling points. Special item. Dwarven Ring of Thor's tribe. Very nice. Um, okay. Hmm, nice. A nice place to hide. Scouts only. Tap scout to cancel an attack against the company. The, his company. Oh. Very nice. Yeah, I want this card, definitely. And it's also beautiful, beautiful um, artwork. Kyrjahar, unique. Can use shadow magic. He's a Dunedan and an evil one at that. Ostison. Scout man. Astanak. Warrior man, Dogrib, Warrior man, Mjolnid, Warrior ranger man, Luitprand, Scout man. Foul smelling paste. The bearer can discard this item to heal a wounded character in his company, change the character status from wounded to well and untapped. Wow, that's a nice one. Blazon of the eye. Okay, anyone can use this Eradon. Scout Ranger Dunadon. Um, yeah, these could be played by anyone. Lyos, Nevidu Smod. These are just normal characters. Shrel Kine. Yeah, these are normal characters available at any Perchen. Danish Clanhold. Yeah, that's a normal site. Dwarven Ring of Thelos tribe. So we've got plenty of those. Stinker, Scout Ally. <clears throat> Playable at Goblin Gate or Moria. That's been heard before tonight. Playable during the site phase on an untapped character in a covert company. I really have to check out what covert companies actually are because I've never come across this before today. To satisfy the questioner, an untapped character at a freehold. Tap the character inside. No marshalling points are received and the character may not untap until this card is stored at a dark haven during his organization phase. I guess... That would be a hazard, though, <clears throat> the way I play it, because obviously you would be... You would um, face this, um, and it would give, be given you, and then, you know, you just choose someone... Um, 
No, it's actually not. Well, I would have to figure this out. Um, Roses of the Erin Vaughan. Playable at the Worthy Hill. Hills. Bag end. So here we come to the locations. Let's see if there's anything in there we don't have yet. Banded Lair, Baradur, Beon's House, Khan Doom, Dimril Dale. I don't think we've got this one. We definitely have Dol Guldur. Eagle's Eyrie, we don't have that one. Edoras, we do. Goblin Gate, I don't think we do. Moria, we just saw. Thranduil's Halls. We do, but not with this beautiful artwork. And the Worthy Hills, that's where we could play the Woeses. <clears throat> Goblins of Goblin Gate. That's a, that's a faction. Oric Quarrels. Yep. Orcs of Moria, another faction. Piercing All Shadows, permanent, um, permanent event. Playable during the organization phase on a ranger. Target ranger may tap to cancel all hazard effects for the rest of the turn. Brilliant. That force his company to return to its site of origin or to that tap his company's current or new site. If so, tap target ranger makes a corruption check. Cannot be duplicated on any given company. Piercing All Shadows, it's a very nice one. Poisonous Despair. Magic. Spirit magic. Okay. Regiment of Black Crows. Playable at, an un at a tapped or untapped, non under deeps, ruins or la and lairs. Its controlling character's company is overt. May not be attacked. Discard this ally if its controlling character is wounded. Tap this ally to cancel a hazard creature attack not keyed to a site and to put the creature's card back into its player's hand. Okay. Sudden call. Yeah. This is the audience of Sauron thing. You know, I have no idea what it actually does. Voices of Malice. Um, and here we have the ambusher again. And Lure of Nature and Twilight. Okay. So that was um, F. So next up are some that I have never looked at before. So let's start with this one because he looks awesome. <clears throat> this would be G. <clears throat> G is Dwar the Ringwraith. One, two. Oh, we only get two of this one. Oh, no, the third one is down here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, Lieutenant of Morgul. Warrior Ranger Troll. Musgash. Warrior Orc. Lagduf. Warrior Orc. Radbuk. Warrior Ranger Orc. Tross Hesnef. Warrior Man. Easterling Camp. Foul smelling paste. One, two. Now we've got two. Burat. That's our troll. Or captain again. Orc veteran. Shagrat. Yeah, I could totally see him figuring in a in a in a story. Tuma, another one of the trolls, and Wuluak. The Arkenstone. I only have one of those, so that's good. Now we've got two. <coughs> Black Mace, warrior only. Plus three prowess to a maximum of ten. Plus four to a maximum of ten against elves. Well, still, we could wield it. Black Mace, again, very nice. Black Mace. Burning, Rick, Cot, and Tree. Permanent event. Playable at any already tapped border hole during the site phase. The company faces two attacks. If no characters are untapped after the attack, discard this card. Otherwise, you may tap one character in the company and put this card in your marshalling point pile. 
Discard any factions you have in play that are playable at that side. Cannot be duplicated. That is an evil, evil card. I'm not sure how I would play this timing-wise. Um, because... I, as the player myself, wouldn't play this on me. So, but I'll figure something out how I could use this as a hazard. Gleaming Gold Ring, another one, nice. Grey Mountain Goblins, Orc Faction. Where do they, play playable at Gond Myglon. I think I have that. High Helm, very nice item. Ice Orcs, interesting. Playable at any ruins and lairs in Forochol or Withered Heath. Orcs of Gundabad. Playable at Mount Gundabad. Regiment of Black Crows. Bay to Rule. <clears throat> Bold Thrust. Warrior only. Warrior receives plus three to prowess and minus one to body against one strike. Very good. Crept along cre cleverly. Now we've got four of those. Now we've got five of those. I'll report you. Permanent event. Playable on the leader during the organization phase. It's a command. Return all other command cards on target leader to your hand. When this card is played, minus two to leader's direct influence to a minimum of zero and plus one pro prowess to all characters in his company. You may return this card to your hand during any organization phase. Okay. Um, swarm of bats. Swift strokes, warrior only, warrior receives plus one prowess against one strike and obtains two random values against it. And obtains two random values against it, choosing the one to use. Receives plus one prowess against one strike. Oh, and rolls twice, essentially. <clears throat> Thraw's map. Discard Thrall's map to untap a site with a dragon automatic attack. Under his blow, untapped character does not tap against a strike. Very nice. Diversion. Playable on an unwounded character facing an attack. The attack is cancelled and the character is wounded. That's like escape. Ambusher, ambusher... Direwolves, got those, plenty of those, in fact, giant spiders, yep. So these go away. But we've got more, wait, there's more. So here we've got walks. We definitely do not need those. Watcher in the water, we can always use them because I don't think I've got three. Wolves, we have wake of war. I don't think we have that many. Unexpected outpost, we've got plenty. And we have plenty of doors of the night. Doors of night, full of froth and rage. Absolutely. Searching eye, I don't think we have. Stay her appetite. Now, let's take a look. Now, this is, um, this is Shellop. Playable on an ally, make a roll, draw a card. If the result plus the ally's mind is greater than your opponent's unused general influence, which we can't use because I play solo. So we still sleep, we'll still sleeve it, but we can't use it. Wake of war. Okay. Car and doom, caves of Ulund. Dale. Can't do we saw. We can put this away. Case of Ulund is... We have this, but it's not... We don't have the 
Dark Haven version of it. Dale, Dancing Spire, Dol Guldur, Gold Hill, don't think I've seen this before, Gond My Glom, Iron Rock, interesting, The Lonely Mountain, Minas Morgul, Moria definitely, Mount Gundabad, Raiderhold, Minor Ring, Hawk Quarrels, Orders from Lugburz. Um, again, a ring, or Quarrels, we had this before, Orders from Lugburz. Um, and these are playable on a company, may be played with a starting company in lieu of a minor item. This company may contain a troll leader in addition to another leader, plus one. Okay. Piercing all shadows. Regiment of Black Crows. Sable Shield. Shield. If a strike against the bearer is successful, he is not wounded. Instead, the attacker makes a roll, draws a card. If this result is, is result is greater than six, discard Sable Shield. Very nice. Sudden Call. Voices of Malice. We've had this several times. So I'm going to put this away. Erkaraxa, a hunt again. Foolish words, we've got this one several times. Na nameless thing, we've got this several times as well. Rebel talk, I think I only saw this once, so now we've got it three times. Stench of Mordor, Twilight, Orcs of Moria. Um, so these go away in terms of they will be stored in case I need them at a later stage. <clears throat> This is probably one of the most thrilling videos ever. <clears throat> and now we're looking at... I can't make that out actually. Yeah, it could be, let's see, that is the letter J, Indur the Ring Wraith. He's a warrior diplomat Ring Wraith, he's only got three designations. And we've got him three times, as we would like him to be. We've got the Mouth of Sauron. Very nice. Horseman in the Night. Yes, Hador. Oduaka. Strange Rations. Discard to untap a bearer, the bearer. Alternatively, discard during organization phase to allow its bearer's company to play an additional region card. This is exactly like Cram. But of course, you know, it has to be different because, you know, they wouldn't eat Cram. Blazing of Fire, of the Eye, sorry, Orc Captain, Orc Captain, Orc Captain, Ill-Favoured Fellow, um, Nevidor Smord, he can be played at any Dark Hold, and this one can be played at East, the Easterling Hold, Jarek, Southron Oasis, the Arkenstone, Balkhoff, Man Faction, playable at a Raider Hold, Corsairs of Rune, playable at a Raider Hold, at Raider Hold, so it seems to be a place. Easterlings, Manifestation of Hero Easterlings, Man Faction, playable at Easterling Camp. Haradrim, playable at Southron Oasis, High Helm, Palantir of Orthanc, Scroll of Isildur, Southrons. Let's hope we find the Southron Oasis somewhere in here. Stinker, Wayne Easterlings, Bay to Rule, Bolt Thrust, that's a very good card. By the Ring Raid's word, playable during the organization phase on, on one of, maybe I should switch on the light. <clears throat> no, it's great, it's bright enough. Playable during the organization phase on one of your 
Other characters at the same dark haven as your ring wraith. Okay. Crooked promptings. What is she doing? Braiding her hair. Diplomat only. Plus one, plus three to any influence check by a character in a diplomat's company. Or plus two to a corruption check by a character in his company. Okay. Clept, uh, crept along cleverly. We can put this away because we've got it so many times. All quarrels at this stage as well. Secret ready to his will. Playable on an orc troll, giant slayer, or man hazard creature with one strike for each of its attacks. All attacks of the creature are cancelled. The creature comes an ally under the control of any character in the company that now taps. It has a mind of one. Ooh, nice! Secret book. Minor item cannot be included with a starting company. Discard to untap a freehold or border hold or to make information playable at any ruins and lairs. Cannot be duplicated. That's a nice one. Secret book. Yeah, we want this one. The Tormented Earth. Magic. Sorcery. Playable on a sorcery using character facing a non-automatic attack. Cancels the attack or gives the attack minus three prowess. Nice. Sorcery using. Voices of Malice. Corpse candle. I think I've got this three times already, but I'm just going to include it. Ghosts. Yeah, we definitely have that one. Um, ah, the cell swords between charters. We only have this once. <clears throat> Let's open the next one. Cave worm, Slayer, Alone and Unadvised, got this one, Covetous Thoughts, Corruption, playable only on a minion, at the end of each of his turns, target minion makes a corruption check for each item his company bears, that he does not bear, Dragon Sickness, we've got this so many times, Lure of Expedience, we've got that one too, Lure of Nature as well, Lure of the Senses, I I've never seen this one before. How does it work? Target character receives two corruption points and makes a corruption check at the end of his untapped phase if at a haven or dark haven. During this or... Uh, maybe. I may have seen that before, but definitely not that picture. Weariness of the heart. Don't think I've got this one. And here we've got our locations. Let's see what we've got. We've got Baradur, Caves of Ulund, Dol Guldur, Easterling Camp, Goblin Gate, we just saw this, Isengard, Minas Morgul, Moria, Mount Gundabad, Southron Oasis, here we are. The Wind Throne. Never seen this one before. We've seen this one. Raider Hold. We haven't seen this one. Crept Along Nicely. Focus Palantir. Grey Mountain Goblins. Hold. Rebuilt and Repaired. Playable during the site phase on a non dragon's lair, non under deep's ruins and lair. The site becomes a shadow hold. Okay. Orcs of Gundabad. Poisonous Despair. Piercing All Shadows. Regiment of Black Crows, Skies of Fire. When Skies of Fire is in play, all Hazard Environments cards in play are immediately discarded and all Hazard Environment effects are cancelled. This card acts as Gates of Mourning for the purpose of interpreting hazards. Ah, that's the evil version of Skies of Fire, uh, of, of Gates of Mourning. Sudden Call, Voices of Malice, Covetous Thoughts, Lost in Free Domains. I really love this. River. Twilight, Great Bats. <clears throat> so, these ones go away.
And now for the last one. Let's see what this one brings us. And as you can tell, I'm not opening them in any special order. I just took them out of the box. Okay, let's see. Um, this is number H, Hoar Murat, the Ring Wraith. He's a scout ranger sage ring wraith, not a warrior. Gorbak. Warrior scout orc. Playable Urukai leader. Home site Minas Morgul. Grishnak. Any site in Imlad Morgul. Uftak. Any site in Imlad Morgul. Lugdush. Isengard. Any Darkhold. Blazon of the of the eye, strange rations. That's like cram. Ill-favored fellow. We've seen him several times. The sly southerner, a friend of Bill Fernie's, playable at any dark hold. Orc tracker. The Arkenstone, blasting fire. Technology, playable at a tapped or untapped shadow hold or a site with a dwarf automatic attack. Discard to cancel all automatic attacks at a site against the bearer's company. Any influence attempts against factions at the site this turn are modified. This is brilliant. Great Lord of Goblin Gate. Playable at Goblin Gate. High Helm. Saw this one before. Orcs of Moria. Sable Shield, we saw this one of, uh, before. Scroll of Isildur, um, Snag, Snaga High. Orc faction. Like Urukai, only different. Stinker. Vile Fumes. I think we had this one before as well. War Wolf. I've never seen this one. It's an ally. Okay. Nice one. A nice place to hide. Very nice. We're going to keep this one. Raid, bait to rule. Crept along cleverly. We've got this several times now. Or quarrels, ditto. Records unread. Cannot be included. Um, makes information playable. Yep. Sneak in. Scout only. Playable during the organization phase on an untapped scout in a company with a company size of less than three. Tap that scout. No creature hazards may be played on his company this turn. Very nice. Chill Dowser. Yeah, we've got this one. Ghouls. I learned the other day, namely yesterday, that ghoul is an Arabic word. And stirring bones. I don't think I've got three of those. So, yeah. I'm, I think I'm going to keep one chill dowser back because I'm not sure if I've got three of those. <clears throat> and now the last one. But having opened this one now, I can at least play um, the Votelli um, <clears throat> scenario that I told you about from the Northern Wastes, because that requires a Witch King deck. And of course, now I have the Witch King. Stirring Bones again, Barrow White. I love this image. It's just so haunting, the Barrow Whites. I mean, I love this whole 
It's part of the Lord of the Rings. Anyway, that's the best part, in my opinion, when they travel um, before they reach the elves. Wisp of Pale Sheen. I've never seen this one before. Undead. Oh, it's a creature. Nice. An unexpected outpost. Unexpected cat attack. Yeah. Yeah. Doors of Night again. Exhalation of Decay. Playable on an undead hazard creature in your discard pile. If target undead can attack, bring it into play as a creature that attacks immediately, not counting against the hazard limit. The attack's prowess is modified by minus one. I'm actually going to turn this around. If I am attacked by a an undead hazard, I can play this to give it a minus one. The moon is dead. I've got this one already. It's a beautiful image, though. Um, Plague of Whites, long event. The prowess of all undead attacks is increased by one. Oh, nasty. You want this. Power built by waiting. Tap during the company's movement hazard phase to increase the hazard limit against that company by one. Uh. Tap during a company's movement hazard phase to increase the hazard limit against that company by one. This card does not untap during your untap phase. You may use two against a company's hazard limit to untap this card. You may use two. Whatever that means. Reduce your hazard limit. Baradur, Karn Doom, Caves of Ulund, Dead Marshes, Dol Guldur, Goblin Gate, Minas Morgul, Moria, Shelob's Lair, Mount Doom, yes, Mount Gram. We haven't seen this one in this version. Saren Goriwing, we have crept along cleverly, yes, Fell Rider. Only once, or quarrel several times. Orcs of Mirkwood, not yet. Piercing all shadows, yes. Sudden call, yep. Voices of malice, indeed. Twilight. Piercing all shadows. And again, our friend, the ambusher. Foolish words, yep. Ghosts, uh huh. Ambusher, some more. Stench of Mordor, Black Mace. And that was the unboxing of the um, challenge decks of the Ring Wraiths. Um, as you can see, there are plenty of cards here, um, which I'm not sure how I will be able to incorporate all of them, but I will definitely, um, you know, add them to my collection in terms of that they will be sleeved and they might come in handy when I build, I don't know, maybe a story around going to dark places and trying to um, persuade the bad factions, you know, um, so we'll see how this goes. A lot of these I will be able to use as hazards though as well. <clears throat> um, and yeah and maybe one day I will come up with a scenario where I play a ring wraith although um, I'm not quite sure if if that is so appealing to me for some reason I'm, I'm not sure but I hope you enjoyed this this was um, five challenge decks um, for uh, the um, Middle Earth CCG from the ring rates um, and I wish you all a pleasant evening and have a good time. Bye bye.